period. How do kids say now? Period, point blank, period, period, point blank, period, period. That's the What's up, Basil Babes? Child, I got the tea for y'all. I'm about to leave work. I've been here too long, but I'm having technical difficulties with my um, SD card reader thingy. So I wanted to post this video. So I decided to do it on my phone because it's easy to get stuff from my phone to my computer when I get home. So before I walk out this door, I just wanted to say I feel terrible. So, I don't know, some of you, I know I'm going to get backlash on this. I know some of you going to have stuff to say. I, I know it already. I know it. It's okay. It's okay. So, I warned Clinton. Clinton, you know, my son, my 18-year-old, who decided not to pursue college or a job. Um, you know, I've been very supportive. Very supportive throughout his life. But the buck stops here. You're 18, son. You're an adult. So, no more pampers for you. No more hand-holding for you. You don't want to do anything for your life. I can do that all by myself. So, what I did, I warned Clinton. I warned him. Next week, when we leave this house, you need to leave this house. Because he'll eat up all the food, sleep all day. A little bit of dinner that we had put aside. We'll come home from, the girls will get home from school. I'll eventually get home from work. Dinner, gone. Um, dishes in the sink. Just no help, whatever. So I said, hey, if we're getting up and going to school, going to work, then you need to get up too. Where are you going to go? I don't know. I let him know for a week. I gave him a warning for a week. So, today, what's today? We got up, we all got dressed for school and work, and he was still laying there. I said, no, buddy, you got to get up. When we leave this house, you have to leave this house. Where you go, I don't know. You can go to Starbucks, you can go look for a job, you can go sign up for the military, you can do something, but you cannot be here. So, where am I going to go, where am I going to go? I said, I don't know where you're going to go. I warned you for a full week, you should have been making plans. And then he sold his gaming system, which I'm shocked. So we went back and forth for a long time. He didn't want to, he didn't want to go. So I probably wasn't going to do this. No, I wasn't. I said, well, I'm about to call the police for a police escort because you got to go. When we leave the house, you leave the house. We get up and go to work and go to school and we're doing stuff with our lives. That's what you need to be doing too. So my little heart was breaking, but I was like, Joy, you already told him this was the plan. You had a plan mapped out. You got to do something with your life. You just can't sit around and do nothing. No. And then I come home, you're not even cleaning the house, making an effort with anything. No. So... My little heart was hurting, but I was like, sorry, buddy, you got to go. And he was trying to come up with every excuse. Now, all of a sudden, he wants to do X, Y, and Z, trying to stall from not having to leave. Sorry, we don't want to get up and go to school and work. So, but we do it anyway. We do what we have to do because that's what life is about. So I felt bad. So I told, you know, I told one of my friends, they was like, no, that's showing that you love him. <laughs> she says, you allowing him to do nothing. That's hurting him more. But I felt so terrible. But what else am I going to do? He doesn't want to do anything. I can't take care of grown men. I can barely take care of myself and the girls. And now you laying around doing nothing. So that's what I did. I dropped him off. And he had to figure it out. I said, you got to go. So there's a way I know how to lock the house without um, him getting access. And so when the girls got home from school, he was sitting out on the front waiting to get in the house. You know, he waited patiently. What he did all day, I have no idea, no clue. So they say that sometimes you got to practice tough love on your kids or somebody because if they're always going to rely on you they're never going to change so <laughs> i felt terrible but parents if you have someone out there sometimes you got to do that tough love i remember the first time my mother told me no 
So where this is going to lead, I don't know, but it's a start. He ha He's 18, did nothing all summer, didn't work all summer, just played video games all summer, didn't contribute, didn't want to do dishes. It gets to a point when you've had enough. So go ahead, say I'm a terrible mom. That's fine. I'll take it. But when you are so uncomfortable with the situation, that's when change occurs. You know, especially when somebody's not trying. Mm -mm. So let's see what tomorrow holds. But y'all, I had to threaten that boy with calling the cops. I'm like, you 18. I could call for trespass. <laughs> I wasn't going to call nobody. So, I don't know. I'd say you could, you trespassing now because I've asked you to leave several times. But he never got, like, irate. He's not that kind of child. Never got irate or, oh, that, no, he would never do that. He was like, this doesn't make any sense, right? It doesn't make any sense because now you have to get up and do something. Where you go, I don't know, go to Starbucks. Figure out maybe sitting around for eight, nine hours, you have time to figure out your life and what's going to work for you. I was like, you need to sign up for the military, you need to do something, because this is not going to work here, not anymore. I dealt with it all summer, I'm no longer dealing with your shenanigans. Go ahead, go ahead, just blow me up in the comment section below, just go, go ahead, I'll take it, I'll take it this time, call me whatever you want, I'll, I'll, ta I'll take the spanking this time. I'm not even going to respond. Well, you know, if somebody hit a nerve, you know I will. <laughs> no, but I felt I felt bad. But what else a parent's going to do? Keep allowing these behaviors? I mean, you, I'm a sucker. I've dealt with a lot. I deal with a lot with these kids. And sometimes I feel sorry for them, then blah, blah, blah. <sighs> I mean, like, even 8, 9 o'clock at night, you know, we still don't have internet set up at the house. I'm going to Starbucks to help Bobby with one of her projects. She was inundated with stuff, but she found time to hang out with her friends, though. So, and then who was at Starbucks um, working on her project, helping her with the project, some editing with her project? Mom. Y'all can call me what whatever y'all want. I know what I do. You guys see little clips, but I know I know what I put in with these kids. And sometimes it's downright frustrating. <laughs> so when y'all be like, oh no, you gotta miss some child. No break vacation in 18 years. Mm, I'm gonna be in another country <laughs> and see if Sydney walk across that stage. My ticket's gonna be in my hands. Everything's gonna be sold. I'm out of there. <laughs> So, that's my plan anyway, unless, you know, this is three years down the line, two yeah, two more years, not counting this year. So, I don't I don't know what, 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 um, what's in store for me, but in my head, that's my goal, is to have a ticket ready to leave this country. They can figure it out. I'll send a care package from China <laughs> or Dubai, honey, living it up in Dubai, yes. So... I don't know. I don't know where I'll be, but that's that's my plan right now. You know, new love can enter the life. I don't know what's going to happen. So, but if no new love and no new job prospects and all that stuff, then I'm be gone. Seriously, I ain't looking for no new love right now. I ain't even thinking about that. <sighs> all right. I just wanted to update you guys. <sighs> I tell you, it, this parenting thing is not easy. There is no rule book. Sometimes I figure out things as I go along, and I'm not very, very strict. I'm tired. I'm tired. Tired of doing it by myself. Frust Sometimes I get frustrated that I have to do it by myself. And, you know, the fi financial stress of it all as well. Um, but overall, I think the kids have turned out pretty well. The girls are stressed about school, you know, still trying to get involved in everything under the sun. Sydney is thinking about going to seminary school. I'm like, do they make any money? You don't need to be broke like your mama. <laughs> but she seems pretty passionate about it. But, you know, they change like the weather. I mean, it could be worse, but 
sometimes with the kids you gotta put your foot down and and I felt and I wanted to say well tomorrow but I was like no joy you warned him all week you gave him the expectation you gave him a week this was gonna happen even Saturday I said you know you gotta have some place to go by Monday Sunday you know Monday you have to leave the house so when Monday came I couldn't back down I I I, I couldn't back down I I know this is what I said. I warned you for a whole week. So this is, this is, it is what it is. So I'm not even going to ask where he was. Nope. So he'll be getting up again tomorrow, six o'clock in the morning. Where I'm dropping you off, I got about 10 minutes. It better be like five minutes away. I'm going to drop you off. Starbucks is open. You can sit there and use their free Wi-Fi. How about that? You can sit there and look for jobs. How about that? I could drop you off at Walmart, fill out an application, and hope they hire you that day so you can start working that day while, while you're sitting out front of the store. How about that? Mm -mm. And it's like, you got to do, no. Mm -mm. Anyway, that's my tea. I had to give y'all the tea. I had to give y'all tea. And then I took Sydney to a party. You know, if you still here, I dropped her off at her friend's house to go to a party. And she texts me. And, you know, she texts me all the time. Can you come get me now? I'm like, dude, you need to give me like 30 minutes to a 45 minutes, 60 minutes warning, okay? Because I could be cooking something, whatever, whatever. You need to give me a warning. So she sends me a text. Oh, can you come get me now? Yeah, I get those all the time. There's no sense of urgency in that text message because that's what you send me all the time. I'm like, yeah, okay. So I'm sitting there still probably polishing my nails or whatever I'm doing. And then she's like, mom, can you come now? I was like, I'm driving. I think I was walking out the door at that point. So um, so I get there. She gets in the car. I see a whole bunch of kids standing outside, a whole bunch of them. She gets in the car. She starts crying. She's like, you know, I texted you. I'm like, okay. She was like, we all got kicked out. It was probably maybe 75, 100 kids outside. It was just awful. There was stuff going on. I, I just wanted to leave. I said, see, that's where you're wrong. Cause she was fine. She it, the whole situation just scared her. I said that's when you should have said, "Mom, it's nine one one. You need to come get me now. I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel safe. Whatever. That's what you need to say. Not just a typical text. Come get me now." And so, and then Clinton was in a car accident, a fender bender, and then um, he sent a whole paragraph explaining what happened. And then Sydney was like, well, aren't you worried? I said, no, because his text did not say urgent. I need help. Come get me. I'm hurt. His text did not say that. I said, you have to be very specific. Now, if his text was like, oh, mom, you know, my arm, my neck, you know, I'm out the door. But it was like, no, you know, his the other guy's parents is coming. Somebody else is driving. We just ran into, you know, you won't believe what happened. So he texted me a whole little paragraph. Nowhere in a paragraph did, you, did he say, come get me now, we're hurt, we're injured, ambulance, none of that. So that's a different text. I'm like, okay, he's fine. They had a little fender bender. Uh, the other boy's parents were there in 10 minutes, you know, his BMW ruined. But Cindy, I was like, no, next time you feel like that and you don't feel safe in the environment, you have to be specific because then I respond to the text differently. I'm on, I'm out the door like G.I. Jane. OK, so not like the typical, oh, can you come get me now? Like you sitting there at Starbucks or Whataburger or Chick-fil-A waiting for me to come because, you you know, you don't hung out with your friends. That's a totally different text. Mama, I don't feel safe. Come down. 911. Different. So she had that lesson. I was like, no, next time you don't feel a certain way, you be specific because then I move a certain way. I move a little more swiftly. OK, period. Anyway, that's my tea. That just made me mad. She gets in the car. You know, are you hurt? Were you doing anything? Did anybody touch you? No, 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 no. But the whole situation, she didn't feel comfortable. So, whew, these teens, y'all. These teens. Mm. All right, let me get out of here because, of course, I'm on duty. I got driving. People see and pick up. The... Anyway, give this video a thumbs up. Leave, go ahead and bash me if you want to. 
but parenting is never easy. But sometimes you got to put your foot down because mm -mm. these kids walk on you. I feel as though my kids walk all over me already because I'm a very easygoing, chill mom, playful mom. But no, not this time. Come on. Get your clothes. Are you packing up some water? Are you packing up lunch? Oh, well, you just chose to grab a bottle of water and walk out as is. Then that's your choice. You'll learn that he's going to be packing up stuff tomorrow. I bet you. i let you know, child. But he's getting up out of this house. When we leave, you leave. We getting up and doing stuff. You're getting up and doing stuff. Period. How the kids say now? Period. Point blank. Period. Period. Point blank. Period. Period. That's what they do now. Period. <laughs> All right, guys, <laughs> until next time, later. So, I just get home. It is almost 7 o'clock, 7.30. I'm tired, a lot of traffic. Clinton was home. All the kids were home. Kitchen mess. I'm tired. I'm, t I'm tired. We still don't have internet connected at the place. So, I could get you this video. I'm going to go to Starbucks for about an hour and a half. It's like you do so much. And you do so much. I'm just tired. And I'm at a point where don't say what, what I might regret later. But if there was a fast forward button, I will push it. Okay. I don't know. Now Clinton wants his hair cut. Is he going to look for a job at this point? He's been begging me for about two weeks now. So I'll take the sides down real quick. Yeah. I don't enjoy doing hair. I even had Sydney attempt to do her own hair. She did a good job, but I had to go through it again because it was still a little puffy. But she tried. That's more than what she did before. And you know how I said before, you give and give and give and give. Give and give and give and give. You fill other people's buckets, but no one fills my bucket. You guys do, <laughs> but it's just, I'm just tired. Anyway, before y'all click off, your girl is tired. Anyway, I have a birthday coming up. You know who I'm going to celebrate with, y'all. It'll be my birthday, October 1st. I'll be going live like I did the past three years. So it'll be my two-year anniversary for my food channel. And I can't believe it'll be my third year anniversary for Only in Basil's World. I was like, no, it's two years. Sitting was like, no, it's your third year. Really? I was like, that's disappointing. Meaning my subs are so low. <laughs> um, but I'll be hanging out with y'all, trying to um, buy myself a gift. Um, it's a life-changing gift. Or it's a big step in my life, this gift. So it'll probably be emotional because it's a part of letting go of something else. So we'll see. All right, guys. So put me on your calendar for October 1st. You know, it'll be October 1st. I don't know if it'll be a mukbang, food. I don't know. We'll see. But if it is a food mukbang, I'll be doing it right up in my bathroom. Nobody's getting any of this. Period. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>